This week's Porto brings Serata's parental crisis to a close with a bang, featuring a climactic clash between the Uchiha family and Shin's clone army. As if to make up for last week's story dump, this episode is almost all action, with some hurried story resolution packed in at the end. It doesn't manage to pull at the heartstrings quite as strong as the past few episodes, but offers a heartfelt conclusion to Serata's woes and a strong cap to the series' best arc yet. The episode opens with our heroes riding Sasuke's Susano to Shin's hideout where they hope to rescue the kidnapped Sakura. Not the type to let herself be the damsel in distress, Sakura begins a battle with Shin with Sarada and Ko. Quickly join upon arriving. Their battle is probably the highlight of the episode, not only because it features the oft-unappreciated Sakura, but also because it features some beautiful animation. I was happy to see her fight clad in the same fluid animation style seen during Shippuden's most epic moments, especially after some of the rough animation seen in the Boruto's earlier episodes. Not content to let Sakura take all the glory, Sasuke and Sarada come in as the fight is winding down. From this point the battle becomes a mix of action and Shin gloating about his superiority. He reprimands Sasuke for letting the love of his family get in the way of his decision making, while sacrificing his own sons in the process. As I previously discussed, I think Shin's shtick about genetic superiority is a little played out but it does lead to a great scene where his clones turn on him after he is defeated by Sasuke. Having trained them their whole lives to eliminate weakness, he never realized they would eliminate him as soon as he was vulnerable. Overdone or not, this turn offers a satisfying conclusion to Shin's evil and a nice foil to the Uchiha family's complicated, but loving, family dynamic. After Shin is defeated it's clean-up time, and the last few minutes are used to quickly wrap up all the hanging story points. Shin's clones are left at Kabuto's orphanage, Cho Cho finds her real dad and Karen quickly confirms Suijetsu goofed on the DNA test. Once all of that is out of the way we get one final scene between the Uchiha family as Sasuke once again leaves the village. It's a cute scene, where Sarada finally learns what Sakura considered better than a kiss receiving one of Itachi's head pokes from Sasuke before he leaves. I like that the show doesn't try to convince us that Sasuke is suddenly a good dad, instead leaving us with a flawed image of him. The whole arc makes it obvious he is struggling to figure parenting out, which is fitting. Based on his own family history I wouldn't expect him to be an amazing father, and this final scene sends the message that Serata understands that too. <laughs>